Okay friends, here we go. I am going to show you guys how to do a virtual Facebook party. Y'all, since COVID last March, oh my gosh, a year ago, um, that is all I've done and I really like it. I really like being able to um, just get cute, go live, post some things and be done. And um, um, it's a little bit like longer process to close out the party. If we're in person, it's just, hey, I've got three quick questions for you individually before everybody leaves. But it's a little bit different, um, you know, doing a Facebook party. You could totally call her and do the three questions, which would be way faster. But I Facebook message them the three questions. And the third question is like, hey, you want me to watch a video about Mary Kay and I'll give you something to have off? Um, well, that question after they watch a video is five more questions. So it just takes a little bit longer like to close out the party. But I love not having to drive to and from a party sometimes. So here we go. There is my two cents about the whole thing. Um, I'm going to go over... Uh, you'll see the supplies and like what I have around me once I'm doing the party. Um, my favorite app to post the party and how I organize everything. So you're about to, about to watch it. You guys ready? Woo! <laughs> okay. So I'm getting myself pumped. First thing, um, if you're going to take some notes, please take notes if you would, is that I use a group, um, rather than an event. If you make an event, then there's like a cutoff where people can only comment um, a certain amount of times. You want people commenting like crazy and not flagged or blocked, right? So, so a group is best. Uh, so that's the first thing I do when someone books a party. There's a really great booking script um, just in general to tell people, hey, I have a party, um, a Facebook party that I do for each season when the new products come out and I wanted to see if you'd be my hostess. You're going to get a free mascara or free lip gloss, whatever the hot thing is, um, when you, when you book a party with me. This is the flyer that I use. You guys will see it in the group. Let me tell you that too. You want to go to the Facebook group and I'll approve you called Virtual Facebook Posting Party Template. So we're doing lots of virtual stuff. So I wanted to specify that it's virtual Facebook posting party. And I will say this just from the beginning. I go live at the party. I think that's a key that I'll come back to. So you've got a bunch of posts and it's just like the other parties except for I go live. I learned by going to um, a 31 girls party that it's really important to have the live so they get to see who you are and your personality and that when you're messaging them who you are. So, so that's a huge thing to come back to. So you're going to go to virtual Facebook posting party template. And, um, that's my group that I created groups. I think are just cooler than pages or events and all that, um, for all the notifications they give to every time their friend, um, starts posting the notifications will go out in a group, very different than events, I think. Um, so that's the first thing. So you'll create it. I like to use a name, something like, um, Spring, her name, I put her name there. That's key because like sometimes to find the group, you have to search. And so it's easy for me to find it and tell her to tell her friends how to find the group by just going in the search bar and putting her name in. So that's another tip I think is great. Um, so I would put, for example, Ashley's Spring, and then you can say um, product reveal or Spring PJ spa night or whatever you want to add to that. The example on this virtual page that I'm on says Mary Kay fall product reveal. And then I have like a spring flower or a winter snowflake or whatever. Um, another key thing on that page, virtual Facebook posting party template, you'll see my template for that season. Um, so I'm using this party for my own parties and I'm using it um, for my launch parties for my team. So that is what you'll see um, when I do it. I'll go ahead and post it over there. Um, just uh, commenting is turned off on most of the posts, except for like the announcements. Announcements, another, th another thing. The announcements is where all the fun things are for training for you. So announcements will have what to say when I book a party. So I just told you about, I have a great script for that. 
what to say um, when you're closing out the party, the three party closing questions that I do, what to say when you're telling the girl to invite her friends, the little invite message she could send her friends and the documents that I'm about to show you guys that I use, what I say when I go live, my hostess flyer, uh, the sheet that I use, um, you know, for my sales sheet. Um, oh, and then this sheet that you'll use to like keep track of the party that my leader, Christy Bigham, um, said I should probably have because I was just scribbling stuff on paper and trying to keep up with all the points and the giveaway and who won and who wanted samples and whatever. And so now it's like all in one sheet. So it's great. Okay. Um, so yeah, all that is on at the top. You might have to click on announcements, but it's always pinned to the top. All right. So now to the process. Okay. So the first thing that I do is I tell the host or I create the group and I give it a name. You get to pick a photo. Um, so you can steal my photo or you can find a cute photo of the new, you know, spring products or whatever the thing is. I immediately invite the hostess, but you kind of want to tell her before she starts just inviting a bunch of people, which Facebook blocked recently. Um, a girl, she invited 20 people uh, <laughs> and they blocked her from doing that. So really like Facebook etiquette is to send her the message that says, and coach her and tell her, hey, um, and this is this is already written down what I say, but it just says something on the coaching part. After you schedule it, you pick a date. Uh, write this down, sorry. Under booking, there's a booking script, right? Just for you to know, the best dates to pick when you book it are a Tuesday or Thursday evening from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. their time zone. I just usually do central even though I'm mountain. And people can be everyone. I just put central, 8.30, 9.30 central. What's beautiful is people from all over can be in there. So you have to really specify. It's kind of funny. Um, so Tuesday, Thursday nights, that's when people are not at church on a Wednesday. It's not a Monday or a Friday. For whatever reason, Tuesday and Thursdays are supposed to be the best night. It might not be the best night for you, but but I just have found that, that I, in a training that I heard about these parties, that that was true. Um, it was just a good night. So I do Tuesdays. I do Tuesdays right now, my meeting. And then I do like two or three parties back to back right after that. Cause I only have to be live for like 30 minutes of them. Okay. So now to coaching, um, I was just going to say one thing about that. Um, which is all the same message in the announcements. You're going to coach your girl. Once she says yes, and you pick a time, you're going to say, you're going to have a little met coaching message to tell her kind of what to do and not to do. And then you're going to have the invite that she'll send out. So I just say, in the coaching message. Hey girl, uh, I made the little group for you. I just invited you just a heads up that um, you'll want to accept that invite. And once, or, and there's a message below to send to your friends, asking them if they would like to come. Once they say yes, that they would like to come, go ahead and invite them into the group. Private messages is best to send, um, you know, if they send like a big group, like group message, like just really not going to have a lot of people. So privately message the girls that message. Um, I'll go and check that message and make sure I like what it says um, in a second. <laughs> um, no, I was going to do it right now, but I'm not going to, so I can focus. Um, so that's how you coach it. And then if there's not a lot of people in the party, there's a couple other messages I gave you to say, um, just to tell them, you know, uh, to, to put something exciting in the group, but also to maybe re-message the people that were like, checking their schedule and maybe just weren't sure they could come or not yet. Okay. So you've got the party booked, you've got the group created. Um, next thing that you would do, um, there is, it's, it's at the top of the page and it says, welcome to so-and-so's product reveal, um, on this group. That's actually your description. So you're going to copy that, put in your own website, and it has a link to the virtual catalog, which is awesome. And you're going to put that under settings, whether it's on your computer, or on your phone, into the description of the group. And what's so cool is, um, oh, uh, it, I was going to say it's at the top. Well, I pin it to the top. So once you see in there, um, when you make the group, um, that there's a description that's been made for the group, pin it to the top because then they'll always have your website and the virtual catalog there, easy to access. So now the group is set up, okay? And then there are three pre-party posts that I just make sure to post before the party. And then there's 16 during the party posts. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's like, um, welcome to the party. Here's how the party works. Um, 
here's a few couple new spring products. Isn't that fun? Um, here's our 100% satisfaction guarantee. And then it has, um, here's our skincare lines. Which one's your favorite? A couple new products. And then it has five is like pick a number. What number is your favorite? Um, I don't remember what six and seven are. That's funny. Um, anyways, there's a couple that change based on the season, but some of them are just going to stay the same every time. Um, you can, oh, and then it, the last couple are like a table close. Like if you were doing a party, you would have a table close and you would say, all right, here's all the deals for the night. If you purchase something, here's our three sets. Make a wish list. If you want to book something, here's what you get when you book. You get a free lip gloss. Oh, and if you want to hear a little bit about our business, I'll give you something half off. And my leader has a Kate Spade drawing or whatever. Um, so we do that always as a table close. So those are three different posts. Um, there's also one more post that's like where you can put your Facebook link in there to your uh, Facebook group for your customers. And it's like, hey, here's my group. If you want to go into my Facebook group and just like know what's like stay in the loop of what's new. Um, so that's the party. Okay. But you're going to go live somewhere in there and it's up to you where you go live, by the way, I have it right now, um, at the beginning of the party post 1.5, or you could put it in the middle of the party as post 7.5. I wouldn't put it at the end, but it probably doesn't hurt if you go at the end. but that's that I do that. So, um, based on my schedule, cause I personally do my Mary Kay meeting and then I go live at one party. And then the second half of their party, it's about an hour long. The, my live's 30 minutes. The second half is the 16 posts every like two minutes, by the way, is how often I do them. Um, and then I might, while, while the posts are going, I'm going live on the next party. Um, and then live at the beginning of the next one. So I move the live around based on my schedule because I personally just want to do parties one night a week. And so I'll do one or two or three parties um, on that Tuesday night because I have a five month old and a one and a half year old that I have to put to bed. Like I have to, my, you know, I'm, I'm the, the feeder and, <laughs> and the layer downer. So I have to just, uh, thank you. There you go. Um, all right. Um, so there is the layout. Okay. And then there's, um, I, I came up with this three post party posts. One of them uh, was already part of the party that I originally stole this from. I would tell you where to go to find that, but she hasn't updated her page. I don't know why since holidays. Um, so I stole, I stole all this from somebody else, by the way, I didn't come up with it, but it was genius and it's so easy. And you just change the posts when there's a new, uh, some new products. So I love that. Um, all right. So there's a miss the party the next day. And then the following three days is a fun little, like, you know, little post for them to like respond. Uh, you know, the ones that are like catchy, like what's your skin type, um, uh, where they can get some more, um, prize entries. Um, so I have, by the way, for my giveaways, I have, um, a drawing for, um, the prize entries. So whenever they get 10 points for private messaging you about their skin or 10 points for going into your Facebook group, um, that's for the small drawing and all the little posts where they get one point or two points. That's all for, um, the drawing for points. I call it the small, small drawing. So here two, four, that will be called the small drawing for commenting points. Okay. So that's for the three party posts, pre-party posts, the 16 posts and the three end of the party posts. Okay. Um, and they're all in order. So you can, if you want to, you can get a cool app that I'm about to tell you about, or you can just go copy paste over there and just change your info, your name, re read it really well. Um, if there's a picture, like the very first post is a picture of me, you'll, there's a blank one there to put your own picture in. I like to use pic collage, Christy Bigham loves Canva, whatever is super easy. Um, just to paste, put a, put a photo in there and paste your picture on there. Um, is that's just really easy. The rest of them, you'll just change a little bit. Um, and you can do them all manually. It all is in order. I do highly recommend a party that's just an hour long, um, and engaging so that you can do the live. Um, you really can, 
if you want to. I'm just saying the, this one, how I've been doing it, how I'm teaching it, and how I know it's successful is a one-hour party with a couple posts the days before and a couple posts the days after, and then a drawing, okay? Um, and then there's one more drawing I'll tell you about after that because I want everybody to close out with me. So I have a, one more drawing for everybody who um, does the three party questions, books, uh, purchases, books, and listens about the business. And they can say no, but even just for answering the questions and doing an individual consultation, if you're new or if you've been around, like this is what we do. We close everybody out. We ask them the three questions before they go. And so um, that's a separate drawing I do, not for just playing, but for actually chatting with me. Um, so I'll tell you guys about that in a second. Um, here's what's in my small drawing. So they've played, I'll tell you about the live in a second because that's, you know, kind of important, I think. Um, they've played around, they got the points. Three days later, I can now um, get all their points, okay? And by the way, if you have like 20 people in the group, you might have five playing or eight playing. It's kind of this, probably the rule of the thirds that we have in Mary Kay in general. Um, I'm drinking this drink. I love bubbly drinks. This one has caffeine, and I think it might be making me a little freak out. I have to find out. Ooh, I, my husband's like, I got a caffeinated one. It's called Bounce. <laughs> yeah, I like caffeine, but this one might be a weird one. Anyways, um, focusing. So you calculate everybody up. Um, let's go to this sheet really quick. So this sheet that Christy Bigham told me to make is really cool. The front of it has each of the posts. I used to tally next to the post who said what and how many points she got, but then I decided uh, I'm just going to put her name here once in the section that says guests in the group who are commenting and their number of entries. I, put, I just put their name there and I do a tally mark for how many points they get now. Um, and I just use this now if I need to, um, to do the schedule. Um, you can schedule all of these posts um, the day before. It has to be 24 hours before. You can try it by just like pushing photo, you know, like pushing, put posting, ooh, saving the photo to your phone, putting the photo in, and then pasting the text there. Um, you'll see up um, in the middle, um, it'll say schedule, like uh, right above what you, your words, it'll say schedule and you can schedule it for the following day. Um, I just have tried to schedule it the day of the party and it didn't work. So I had to like go in and manually do it. Um, so you have to schedule at least 24 hours in advance. Um, that took me about 30 minutes, um, to sit and post, um, and copy and paste, um, the party. So, um, Christy told us about the fearless Christy Bigum told us about, um, post my party. So it's an app, postmyparty.com. It is free for the first two weeks. And um, you, I can totally even send you the template if you private message me for the party. And it'll just be up for you. Um, you just have to pick your time zone um, and, and schedule it. Like uh, each post, you tell it what time to post. So it's pretty cool. Um, but it'll post the whole party for you at the right time. And that's $9.99 a month after that, which I love because it's saving me 30 minutes. All I have to do is spend probably 10 minutes uh, scheduling it. Um, so that's cool. Um, all right, so I, I'm maybe not using this as much, but if you're doing it manually, you might want to know when you go live or you know the schedule of things and you're scheduling it. Um, that's the guests in the group where I tally all their points. Um, I, I write down up here where it says small prize and winner, I write down my small prizes for the commenting game. Right here it says hostess notes and wish list. She might be telling you throughout the party, oh my gosh, I want that. Oh my gosh, I need this. Oh my gosh, I need this. And I also put on there like mascara. Did I give her her mascara yet for booking the party? Um, and I usually, by the way, send everything, all the prizes at the end, all at the same time um, to each one of her friends that won individually. Um, or to her with, with what she might've won. I let her play in the small drawing um, and commenting so she can win some of those prizes. Um, and that's the front side, okay? Uh, one more thing about this, what I give away in the small drawing. This is so cool. I think I'm a genius about this. Uh, and I, of course I stole it from other people as I hear it. Um, for post number five, where it says they get a mini hand cream when they guess the right number. 
Christy Bingham's a genius. She said, pick a number and keep that as your number every time. <laughs> so don't tell them that. <laughs> but Christy's like, I would say two. So like, just pick a number. I've been doing two because that just stuck in my head. So uh, pick a number for that one. And whoever picks that number first wins the mini hand cream. Prizes make it fun, by the way. So I would wrap them. This is silly, but I have a color swag bag and a skincare swag bag that I've always given for my, my, the people at RSVP to my like in-person party. So a color swag bag is one of them. Um, and then the other one that I always do, um, mini lip gloss is usually one of them. I just don't have it in front of me. Um, one thing I always do is a mini compact strategically genius, because if they win the mini compact, then you can reach out to them and say, Oh, guess what? I know you already purchased whatever. Uh, but with your mini compact, you can purchase, uh, four eyeshadows to fit in there. Um, if they purchase, and it's really nice if you send them a already made one, like, um, they have some really cute, uh, photos all the time of that mini compact with four eyeshadows. So send her an example. Here's what it looks like. Let me know what colors you want. That'll put you in the big drawing is what I call it uh, for purchasing for the girls that close out with me. Um, so if she purchases four eyeshadows at 32 bucks, that's 16 profit, which pays for all the other giveaways, right? So the $4 compact that leaves you um, 12 bucks. So now strategically buy something that costs you 12 bucks. So like a $24, um, charcoal mask or something as your big drawing or satin lips that cost you 11 plus tax for your big drawing. If that makes sense. So now it's costing you zero dollars to have all these fun prizes to give away, right? Um, and then uh, except for the mascara that you sent her. So you have to at least sell $15 at this party <laughs> to get her her mascara at, or you know, to pay for her mascara with your profit. Um, this is like, uh, I just decided like, I'm going to make it really easy on my brain and I have to, for me personally, to get excited, I have to give away fun things. And so, um, so I like to have just lots of giveaways and make it just ecstatically fun because then they'll be excited. So I have like the foundation blending brush, a makeup remover and a lip gloss as mine. You do not have to go that big. Um, that is 40 instead of 24, um, that I'm giving away free. Um, I just, I just wanted to have something every, without thinking about it, something I'm excited about to give at every party. Um, and my assistant will wrap all those for me. So if you have someone, it's a tax write-off for like your kid to wrap all those for you, <laughs> by the way. Um, okay, so that is um, the posting part. I want to tell you about the live and I'm going to tell you about closing the party, okay? Um, first for the live, there is... Um, posted on the page and I, I have, I keep these in front of me for when I go live. Okay. So all the documents that are posted at the top of the page, there is a, how to do a facial document. So we had a girl come and train us in Dublin, Texas. Um, and she, she said that when she does her virtual party, I was kind of just talking about each product and holding it up. And trying to be peppy, you know, to, so they'll like stay engaged, you know, she said she straight up does a facial to herself and then puts on a dash out the door makeup artist look to her launch parties that she does for her team or for her virtual facials. And, um, I just noticed that whenever I like say a girl in the group was like, Oh my gosh, I want to learn about mascara or whatever. Then the next day I would do like a little like tutorial. Well, like people like that better. I think like watching the visual part of it. So that lady, I said, she talked about how simple her facial was, that it was just two pages of how to do a facial. So you're welcome. I stole that from her and it is there. It's called, just the document is called how to do a facial. And that's what I do during my live. It literally says, welcome everyone to the party. Tell me who you are and why. Oh, oh, tell them who you are and why you do Mary Kay and what you're working on your eye story. Remover, conditions eyelashes, removes all eye makeup, doesn't hurt contacts or vision. 3D set, three main jobs with three main ingredients, defends your skin, delays signs of aging, delivers age fighting benefits through the three main ingredients. The benefits are in every step of the 3D set. It's full of antioxidants, which helps put your skin into balance. So of course you're like holding up that. And then it says cleanser. The normal to dry is cream based. The combo to oily is gel based. They both break down dirt and oil without stripping the skin. Four main jobs, cleanse, mildly exfoliate, tone, and brighten. So you're doing the cleanser while you talk about it. 
really cool. If you want to, you can totally send them samples to do during this live part, or um, you can just talk about it. And I'm having, this is crazy. Well, I'm not going to say that's true. On my launch party, ugh, my launch parties, some of them, some of the girls choose to send samples and I'll mail samples for them to their people. They, um, those are, I'm having like four and $500 sales. My parties where I don't send samples, um, plus launch parties where I don't send samples are probably at like a $200 average. Uh, my, the parties, not launch parties, launch parties, I think in general, their good friends are there so that they're higher. So my launch parties, um, are higher in general. So I don't know if it matters whether they're getting products or not, um, for these numbers. I bet you though, if they did have samples, um, then it could be higher. Um, however, you've got that, that cost and, um, you know, just that, that extra time at the beginning to send those out. I totally do. Um, I do. I totally do hydro session facials and advanced color. Um, once a month, I'll have a big thing like that where I send samples and invite them to do it as a group. But I like these virtual parties for just a hostess and posting. So, so anyways, you could have samples that they're doing at the same time or not. This is the same format that I use for, um, for everything now. So awesome. Two pages. All right. So once you go through, um, the skincare, then it says review the skincare and it just, just has a couple of like ways to remember. She's like the 3d set is my immediate family. I see them in the morning when I wake up and at night when I go to bed, the charcoal mask is like my best or sorry, microderm is like going to church. I do it once a week on Sunday or sometimes I go twice a week and I do it on Wednesday. <laughs> it's just cute. Anyways, ask for referrals. Um, haven't quite, that's my one like missing link. Haven't quite figured out how to do that at a virtual launch party. However, you now have 20 people in the group that you could totally reach out to. So I kind of don't think you need to do referrals for this. Um, you're already going to meet people and you're already going to meet her friends, um, that are in the group as well. Um, then you go primer, CC cream, finishing spray, kind of just a dash out the door, quick look, um, deals for the group. So it says close the sale. Um, the deals for the group, I stole this from her as well, are awesome. Beauty packs. So there's the brush your teeth set, the miracle set, and the girl who loves everything set. And her words of what to say are right there under close the sale. So brush your teeth set, cleanse our day cream, lasts about four to six months, 56. Okay. And then, so it shows all three sets. And then her little script stops, but I think it's very important to add the before I let you go, let me tell you my job description, 12 points about the business. This, when I started doing this at my live parties and at my launch parties, I do it. People would immediately sign up instead of me um, inviting them to peek into pink that we do or prize or sorry, or sending them a video and telling them about the business. And then maybe coming to another event, people would sign up immediately because they saw the value um, in the product. So I'm just going to tell you that really quick. So you can kind of see what it feels like. Let me tell you about my job description before I let you go. It's a, oh, whoa, number nine got posted up there. That's funny. My job description is to teach skincare and color. That's what I do as a beauty consultant with Mary Kay. We make 50% when we sell something. Um, and so I buy my products from Mary Kay 50% off and I sell it for, for the full price. The average woman spends 50 to 100 with us. So that means we make 20 to 50 bucks when we sell something. I, and I joke, there's not a lot of things that's, that are legal where you can make that much. The average, oh, sorry, um, are there any quotas? Some, when I'm in person, I ask them and give them tickets, but um, it's a little bit different, you know, virtually. Are there any quotas? Or there's no quotas. It's very relaxed. You could order once a year um, and stay a consultant in Mary Kay. I tell them it's like a Costco membership. Team building is a second income. So say you're in Mary Kay and I join your team. We both make 50%, but now the company's going to send you a paycheck for four, nine or 13% of whatever I do each month. Um, and then you do an example of your paycheck. So my first one was eight bucks then it was like 50 a month. And then it was 500 to 700 a month. And then when I became a director in Mary Kay, um, after really deciding to go for it, it was $5,850 in one month, um, uh, plus the free cars. Um, and tax write-offs. I really like those. Um, it's flexible to sprinkle into your life. Um, you just sprinkle it into what you already do. And then it's a hundred to join. At that point, I will hold up my starter kit and you itemize it. So you say, this kit comes with this cute bag 
and inside the cute bag are catalogs, mirrors, trays, cloths for taking off your um, makeup, and then all of these products. And you want to show them itemizing it is big because then they're like, oh, I want to sign up. There's the 3D um, skincare set, cleanser, day cream, night cream, and eye cream for oily skin. And then another cleanser, day cream, and night cream for dry skin, eye makeup remover, mascara, CC creams, five of them, translucent powder, a satin hand set. And the biggest thing is I come in there. You say, I'm your cheerleader and our sales director is, um, is your like coach and trainer and she gives you lots of prizes. So that's probably the best part of the kit. And then you can also tell them about the $30 kit. So there's the, that big kit and, um, for 30 bucks, uh, one thirty they get their, um, website and propay. And then there's a $30 kit now where it's just 30 to go ahead and get started for a virtual, um, kit for their website and ability to run credit cards. And then, um, signing bonus, uh, let's see if I brought it. Oh, I didn't bring it over here. I have a signing bonus that they get at their launch party. Um, your sales director might have one, or, um, if you're mine, I have one that is, um, that they get for throwing their party. So that's something special they get at their virtual party for getting me in front of their friends. Or if you're doing your own, um, launch parties, you might have a little something, something she gets, um, that you think she needs. I put foundation, primer, and finishing spray, and, um, uh, a mini microderm and satin lips. Anything that doesn't come in the kit, now she has from me at her launch party. You can tell them about the signing bonus or if there's a kit sale. So you could, for point 0.11, you could say, um, there's a signing bonus that you get and you can actually start your business for just 30 bucks if you want to start virtually. Um, okay, if you decide you're addicted to Mary Kay and then this, the last point, it's really important. Either way is great with me. If you decide you want to be, um, my customer, then that's great. Or if you decide that you want to be, um, join my team, whether it's to be a savvy shopper, get 50% off for life, uh, have a side hustle or be a boss babe and earn free cars like me or whatever, however you want to say that, earn free cars with me. Either way is great with me. So that's how you end it. Okay. Um, I forgot probably before that, tell them what they get. Um, if you want to do a party with me, just like this one, you and all your friends are going to go in the drawing for, uh, for all the free stuff. You get 10%. I like this one. You get 10% of the sales, um, plus the booking gift, the lip gloss or, or mascara or whatever. It's lip gloss right now. Um, so 10% of the sales. Um, and I don't, I don't limit them. If the party only sells a hundred bucks, they still get 10 bucks for me. They don't have to hit um, a number. You can, if you want to, but it also says, um, they get additional 5% for each new booking. So if some of their friends throws a party, they also get, um, get, a price, get an extra 5%. Um, all right. Um, last thing, Three party post three party questions. I want to go over, but there's one more thing I'm trying to remember. What I was gonna say closing the party. Oh, the big drawing. This is it. Okay. Um, this might be silly to show you, but um, this is my party notebook. So silly, but I have a sheet in here for each party and all their sales tickets. I clamp to it, and then um, when it's time to like send people out catalogs, I'll enter each of the new customers from there and put their um, you know. Instead of like keeping the papers, like I get rid of the papers. So now it's just a sheet for each party. I like to write on the front of the party too, by the way, um, what the total sales were. So a pink check mark when it's done makes me feel good. Uh, Hydra session. Okay, so so that one says 378, six sharings, one new team member, zero bookings, 378 in sales. This one says 301 in sales. Um she ended up signing up this one. She, it was her launch party. Sorry. Uh, this one was ooh, one booking, two sharings. Anyways, I write on the front what came out of it. It's for fun. It's kind of nice to know your numbers and go back. Okay. Um, so last thing. So I call this the big drawing only cause it has something bigger in it, you know, and it can be something fun. Uh, whatever you're excited about enthusiasm is just contagious. So, so you're going to do that. Anybody who answers my three party questions. So there's a sheet there. Or you can print out the part um, that says the booking, coaching, and three party questions. Um, and those three party questions, um, they are going to go into the big drawing just for answering them, even if they say no to all of them. I try to keep it fun and lighthearted. And on that sheet, where you keep track of their points, the back side has the, a place for you to write down their answers. 
So you can stay really organized by having questions one, two, and three there. It's kind of nice because question one, she it says purchases questions, samples, prizes one, prizes one. Um, for each person, you could write down if she's like, um, I need a foundation. So you can write down the sample that you sent her, or you can write down the color, um, the answer to her questions before you look up her color, like if she tans easily or whatever. Question two, did she book? Question three, did she watch a video and do the questions? So for for um, for booking and for watching a video and for purchasing, she'll go into the big drawing multiple times, you know, again. Um, I do like for every 20 bucks they spend, they go into the drawing again. So um, that'll help them get more entries into the big things that matter, that make your party successful. Booking, selling, coaching, recruiting is our, our, our objectives, you know. So I like to know, I like to put money towards, um, you know, and giveaways towards the girls that do that. So even just for answering the three party questions, they go into that. I'll read them really quick. First, I send every single person in the group this message. And I used to just send it to the people that participated because um, I thought, well, they're the only ones that care. But the other ones said yes. They said they wanted to be there. So, and Christy Bigham, um, she said, she, I had a, a virtual party for the baby shower I just had. And she said, can you tell me like what you needed? She said, I wish, and she said, this might be something to think about for the Facebook parties. I wish that someone would reach out to me and ask me if I want to participate in these parties. She said, she didn't have time to play, but I would sure like to buy something and help her out. So I now reach out to everybody and I see it as a service. Like maybe they want a couple suggestions. So these are her words. The first question. Well, first I say, Hey, Christy, thanks for being a part of Alyssa's virtual Mary Kay party with me. I have three questions towards the big drawing. I wanted to ask you here. Are you ready? And sometimes I write, um, you automatically go into the big drawing just for answering them. When she responds to question number one, first question, just wanted to see if you have any products that you want to purchase towards um, the party or if you need any suggestions. Any purchase puts you into the big drawing and you go in for every, it says 50 that you spend, but it's every 20 that you spend now. I just lowered it for fun um, to make it fun, more entries. And then she'll say, sure, I want this, this, and this, or hey, can you show me your eye saddle samples and eyeshadow colors and I'll screenshot her um, what the eyeshadow colors are. Question two, you go into the big drawing again for booking a virtual party with me like this one. You get a new free product for me like our new lip gloss and then at the party you'll be entered into the party prizes with all your friends and get a percentage of the sales and free product. I'm doing a couple of weeks out on a Tuesday evening um, and you'll just messenger your girls privately to see who wants to come. Do you want to be my party girl? Or you can say my next party girl, whatever. My spring, one of my spring party girls. Okay, great. Um, pick the date, whatever. And then last question. The last way to be entered into the big drawings to watch a video. It's an eight minute video of me. You can use another video that's out there that you like. I just have been enjoying showing my own video lately. Um, there's a Leah Lachlan one I love. Christy might have one. Whoever your director is might have a great one she likes. Um, and I'll ask you five questions on the phone or here on Messenger. Um, and that gets you a 50% off drawing and into my Kate Spade drawing, as well as one more entry into our party. Did you already watch the video? It's on post number four, like 15, by the way. Um, or do you want me to send it to you? So you always want to end with a question. So each one you'll see has a question on it. Um, and that's it. Once they answer all three questions, I consider them as a face. I closed out with them. It's a facial for me. Once the whole party is done, the party is... Uh, I, oh, sorry. I do the small drawing after a few days and that creates some excitement, um, for the girls that are doing the, the small, the big drawing questions. Sometimes I don't wait till after three days to start private messaging them, but you can go ahead and private message them from the beginning too, if you wanted to. But I like to show them in the small drawing that I'm fun and I'm giving <laughs> if they happen to see that. Um, so they know who they're like dealing with, you know, when they do all the other, um, the, the big drawing questions with me. So I hope that helps guys. I hope you have a lot of fun at your parties and book lots of them.